Welcome to Should You Hack. I'm your host, Bobby Schmerda, and today I'm going to answer an important question. Should you jailbreak your iPhone? Everyone from Ashton Kutcher to terrorists jailbreak their iPhone, but is it the right choice for you? While I was editing this video, Apple released iOS 9.3.4, which completely kills the latest jailbreak. If you're thinking about jailbreaking just a little bit, make sure you are on iOS 9.3.3. If you have already updated, just look for a guide out there on how to downgrade. Time is of the essence, because once Apple stops signing at 9.3.3, you can no longer go back. You will no longer be able to jailbreak until the next one is released. I just had to get that out there in case you don't feel like watching the whole video. Anyways, on to the risks. There are no permanent risks to jailbreaking your iPhone, aside from potentially running an older version of your phone's operating system. It is completely, 100% reversible, even if you really screw something up. Jailbreaking your iPhone is completely legal in most of the world, including the United States and most of Europe. If you were unsure or want to be really, really safe, you can check your local laws. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, then gently place your device on the top rack of the oven. After 15 minutes, take out your iPhone and it will be jailbroken. Almost fooled you. In reality, the act of jailbreaking is usually very straightforward. A simple mouse click, drag and drop, or app opening is usually all that it takes, depending on the jailbreak. You can find the exact jailbreak method for your device by checking out the jailbreak subreddit sidebar linked in the description. It is always up to date. Let me start guessing you, shoddy. There are so many great things that you can do with a jailbroken device that I couldn't possibly fit them all in one video. If you want to see more, just search Cydia Tweaks on YouTube, followed by your iOS version. Here are some of my favorites. Cheating in just about any game, including Pokemon Go. Using apps such as iCleaner to free up large amounts of space on your device. Saving those special Snapchats without the sender even knowing. Universal Night Mode. The ability to record your phone's display, which I have used for footage throughout this video. And my personal favorite, downloading audio and video from YouTube for later use, as well as app-wide adblock. A large number of people jailbreak their device solely to customize it to excess. I am awful at making my device look good, but the people at the iOS themes subreddit are fantastic at it. Check them out if this interests you. When you jailbreak your iPhone, the possibilities are endless. It can be a bit overwhelming at first, so I linked a starter guide in the description. Should you jailbreak your iPhone? In my opinion, absolutely.